Welcome to the Guaranteed Retirement Guys show. So today we're going to be talking about exactly how to calculate your annuity payments. So with calculating annuity payments, they can be tricky if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, so a lot of people wonder, well, how much do I am I going to take out as far as income? I want to turn on my income. I want to activate my income rider. Uh, if your annuity has an income rider, then yes, uh, typically it's pretty easy to see uh, what the roll-up rate, you're usually paying for a roll-up rate when you have an income rider. Not always, but typically there is a roll-up rate. And that's what you'll look at. You, you, you know, whatever your index is earning, that's what it's earning. But typically the roll-up rate is earning a lot more than what your actual index is earning. Your index might earn 7% one year and earn 0% the next year. And then the year after that, it might make 3%. And then it might make, you know, 4%. Or there might be a down year again where it earns only 0%. Okay, again, as we know, fixed annuities, uh, fixed annuities and fixed index annuities are both uh, protected against market loss. So they don't go down, but most of the time, the index, at least from my experience, does not keep pace with the roll-up rate because the roll-up rates guarantee you a 7% or an 8% or 9%, for example. And so they can be very useful for giving you a lot more income than what your normal account value, if you were just growing it in the market or growing it with some other fixed account, uh, would give you. Okay, So I'm going to show my screen. And I want to just do just just some easy calculations for you. And you should see this in your annuity contract. If you have a current one right now, you can go to there is a there is a page where you can go in and it'll show you different um, different ages where, where where you can multiply your it'll give you a withdrawal rate. You know where you can multiply that against your income account value. And so your income account value uh, will just be multi. It's found. Um, by looking at your contract and looking at your roll-up rate. And they typically will show you every single year uh, that that roll-up rate will will affect your account value, and they'll show you exactly what the income value is. If it's worth $300,000 one year, and then you know $325,000 the next year, and then, and then so on. You know That's what the income value is, and they will multiply that by the withdrawal rate, which normally goes higher over the years. And so it might be 6%, but if you wait another five, six, seven, eight years or longer, it might be 7% or even higher than that. And so they'll take that and they'll multiply it, whatever the account value is. So I'm going to show this visually to you. I think it's a lot easier to actually see things. So let's take a look. All right. So we'll look at, let me just base this off of me, 60 years old, Y56. I want this to be a joint payout, $200,000 premium. And let's say I want to do North American because I like A plus rated companies, right? I like companies that have been around for 130 years. You know, North American has been around for a long time. So they're a great company. Uh, so let's look at this. Their income, you can see in, let's see how many years, six years. Uh, so I'm 66, my wife's 62. And I can scroll this out and look at whatever, kind of see how that goes. But let's just say um, A plus rated, it's giving me 18,249. Not too, not too shabby. You know, I mean, if you compare it to AIG or American Equity, you can see it's right up there with them. So, all right. So, if I go into, I want to see exactly how this looks. So, I just know, um, I know uh, how this one works. Uh, and uh, North American is, at least currently right now, it's the roll-up rates is eight percent, which is phenomenal. I mean, when people say, "Hey, the stock market's averaged eight percent over the last hundred years," we know that's not guaranteed. Uh, you know, to happen in the future. We hope it does, but it's not guaranteed. And so roll-up rates, they are guaranteed. So check this out. So you'll notice guaranteed values versus hypothetical. Hypothetical shows you exactly what the index has actually done in the last 10 years. And then it shows the income base, what your account value would be for your income. And then it shows the actual account value. So if it actually does earn what it's earned in the past, it'll be worth $281,000 in real, in real value, okay? But the actual income base, the value of the account that they use for income purposes, for calculating the income payments, is under the income base, okay? So remember that, income base or income account value. And you notice that that income base is exactly the same as this one. The only difference between these two is I'm showing you guaranteed versus hypothetical, 
which you can see the income is the same, 18249 18249 The only difference is that they're showing you, hey, if the index earns nothing, which has never happened, but if it earns, you know, the stock market shuts down and, and nothing happens except fees, we're charging you these, you know, 1% fees, then you can see your account, account balance eaten away. But when you're looking at guaranteed income, who cares? Because uh, you take this out even to 89, you're taking out $437,000. So uh, yeah, not bad. So, but here's what it actually looks like. You can see the income base here, 216,000, 233, 317. You can see hypothetical is the same because the income base is guaranteed. So it's 8%, 8% doesn't matter what the index does. If the index makes nothing great. If the index makes something, then great. Who cares? That's not what they're focusing on. They're focusing on the income base because that's what they're going to calculate your income. So you can see in the first year, if you took this, they're going to calculate it at 216,000. So they're going to say, we're going to treat your account as if it's worth 216,000. It may not have even earned anything, but we're going to treat it like that. That's what a roll up rate is. Okay. It's guaranteed. So they're multiplying 200,000 by 8%. That gives you 216,000. The lifetime withdrawal rate at age 60 for me is 5.25. And that's what this company, okay. It's all, it's different for every company. Um, you can see the income base goes up. Um, it's very, you can see the interest is, is calculated as a simple interest. Okay. So you can see this growing every single year, 8%, 8%, 8%. And then you can see if I turn on income in five years, then the, the, the lifetime withdrawal rate is now not 5.25. If I took it immediately, now it's 5.75. Okay. And you can see this in every single annuity contract that has, you know, that is built for income and they have it set it up like that. They will typically have a lifetime withdrawal rate calculation. And it's based off of whatever age and you can look at it and they'll tell you at what age, um, your lifetime withdrawal rate is. And then you just multiply that typically by the income base account. Okay. And that is what gives you your guaranteed income, which of course for this is 18,249 at age 66. Now you'll notice here available lifetime withdrawals. You see here, if I took it immediately, it'd be 11,340. If I took it next year, it's 12,480 and so on. Okay. It continues to rise because the lifetime withdrawal rate will rise on your contract every single year. Usually, um, just depends on the companies. I mean, some companies, it, it, it'll go for just a certain amount of time and then it, it caps out. Um, but it usually will rise for a long, long time. So you'll notice that, um, after, you know, four years, now my lifetime withdrawal rate is 5.5 and it's multiplied by the then account, you know, income base account of 272. Okay. So that is what gives you the guaranteed income of 15,101. So every year it changes. Typically every year, the lifetime withdrawal rate rises as well as the income base account rises. And when those are both multiplied, um, by each other, uh, that gives you your guaranteed income. And so that's why when you see with annuities, they will give you a higher income, the longer you wait, it's kind of like social security because social security is a giant annuity. Anyways, it's just like a, maybe even a pension plan. Those are giant annuities. Okay. So it's no different than these, uh, the insurance company. Uh, is giving you a roll up rate. And so the longer you let that earn, uh, the more your account value is worth. And even if your real account earns nothing, if it just does terrible, the index does terrible and the market does terrible. The nice thing about roll up rates is they're guaranteed. Okay. And depending on how long they're guaranteed for, that would just keep on rolling up every single year. And you keep getting that guaranteed growth for your income account. And then with, if you have a huge income account, I might have an account that earned nothing terrible over, uh, I mean, you can see worst case scenario, it gets eaten away by fees and it's only worth 181 after, after five or six years. Okay. But I don't really care because the actual income based account is worth 317,000. And that's what they're basing my income off of. I love it. That is what you need to look for when you are looking at annuities and you're looking for growth. And if you want to learn how to calculate, it's really, really simple. Okay just calculating the income base value. Okay. Times the lifetime withdrawal rate. And, and those change every single year because each of them are growing every single year. Okay. So when you do that, it's pretty simple and you can, you can look in your contract and you can see, all right, if I turn it on this year, here's how much it's going to be. So it's pretty nice how they work. Uh, I love guarantees. I love guaranteed income. I love the way these work. 
If you want to chat more, let's talk. I'd love to look at your personal situation. I'd love to see what would work the best for you and answer your questions. I'm an open book. I love to uh, share whatever I can and and, uh, hopefully add some value to your life. So thanks again for listening and we will see you next time. 